We're here today with Trevor Sargent, a form, uh, fellow beekeeper and former Minister of Food and Horticulture. Thank you, Trevor, Claire. thanks for meeting us today. You're welcome. And you're in Gormanstown. Once again. Once again, having opened mm. Gormanstown for the last three years, you're back again for more. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I just love this place, particularly the gathering of beekeepers. I often regretted when I was Minister that I wasn't able to stay for the whole week. Uh, now, uh, at least not being Minister, I have a little bit more control over my diary and I have boxed off a few sessions so that I can be back each day pretty much to, to pick up uh, new information as I am a novice, enthusiastic, energetic um, beekeeper now myself. Um, but I believe you've actually managed to get some hives of your own? Well, yes. Um, in fairness, Jim Donoghue in, in Westmead um, put it to me when I was opening a self-sufficiency fair in Belvedere House one year that seen as I was talking the talk it was time for me to walk the walk. Absolutely. So there he gave me a, um, a suit to try, um, it fitted well and um, I haven't looked back really. Um, so he, he encouraged me to make the trip from Balbriggan, which is home, to Mullingar every couple of Sundays and I'd be down there and um, it's a fantastic uh, learning experience uh, with the, the Midland beekeepers because they, they have done it for years and the bee, group, the bee breeding group down in Belvedere um, is really um, setting a huge, um, very high standard so I, I really felt I was learning, um, I wouldn't say at the master's knee but certainly um, uh, around people who knew about beekeeping and so before long TG Carr came to me asking could they do a bit of recording uh, in my, my garden. I have this website, trevorskitchengarden.ie, there's a plug. Um, and so uh, I put it to them that would they be interested in, in bees and hives and they of course said yes. So then Jim brought me up a, a hive um, and uh, before long that was two hives. So now I've got two um, um, and it's in an orchard of a good friend of mine. Um, and she's um, delighted to have bees because my garden's a bit too small. Absolutely, and bees are all important as we all know for pollination, so you're doing her a favour in return? Well, that's what she says and I'm delighted to be doing, it's a win-win for everybody really. Mm. And, and the one thing that I've noticed, because it's pretty much uh, you know, in the area of the town and it's not disturbing anybody, everything seems fine, um, but it is still, I think, something that um, has to be said more often is that most beekeeping, in my experience, is happening in fairly urban situations. Um, and it's one of those, as I think it's probably the, the, the worst kept secret in beekeeping, but nonetheless, on the jars of honey, you will not see number 105, you know, cedar lawns in some suburban housing estate. Uh, you, you'll see a townland or you'll see some rustic sounding address. Um, but I think quite a number of those are quite urban in their setting um, and I would encourage um, people maybe at the opportunity to, to, to say listen I keep my bees in a certain, an urban situation um, because having been and I know you've been traveling and I've been doing a bit of traveling and you can see in other cities and towns um, uh, bees being kept on rooftops and in various places mm. which you wouldn't have expected years ago to see bees and that all helps the pollination and helps the bees because Farming has changed and I know having been in the Department of Agriculture and I'm still an agriculture house so I'm still very um, much behind the uh, legislation that's going to help beekeeping, uh, the updating of the 1908 uh, Bee Disease Act, I mean that's all going on at the moment as well in government so I'm still very involved but I do also uh, think that farming has changed to the detriment of beekeeping in, in ways. There's a lot more monoculture, uh, there's a lot less of the diversity that came with um, the orchards, for example, are being grubbed up. There's less um, of the environment that bees would need and appreciate. So the urban oasis, if you like, of gardens, uh, which are being planted probably more for cosmetic reasons, to have something to see in uh, floral displays throughout the year, as it so happens, is exactly what bees need. So I think um, there's a need to highlight that and, and uh, I, I know the experience in Canada where I was, in America, in England, now points to the fact that this is normal right? and in Ireland I think we need to embrace the, the urban beekeeper as we have the rural beekeeper for so long. Mm. 
starting to go to urban sprawl, it makes sense. Absolutely. Absolutely.